Hey fellow tennis nerds, I hope all is well. Uh, today I wanted to talk about low string tensions. You might have seen my recent video of Adrian Manorino when he's playing with a pure arrow. Well, it's painted as a pure arrow. It's, it's an arrow pro drive uh, that he strings at 12 kilos or 24 pounds. That's an incredibly low tension considering that there are still pros today using 28 kilos or 62 pounds. You can look at Yannick Sinner or Stan Wawrinka as two examples. Novak, his strings pretty high, 27, 28, although it's a hybrid. Fed is also with a hybrid, 25, 26. Overall, the tensions have dropped from the ATP top 500. The latest stat I've seen is that they're around 44 pounds or 20 kilos. That's the average string tension now of the top 500 players on the ATP tour. Uh, so it means that lower tensions are here to stay. They might be dropping uh, poly strings are, are getting better there. They offer very good control and spin despite being strung at a low tension. So you can actually play with these as at these insanely uh, low tensions. So uh, I would definitely urge you to try to lower your tension no matter where you are. Maybe it's try one, two kilos, a few pounds, just, you know, gradually move down if you can, because you're going to get some added benefits when you learn how to play with, with uh, lower tensions. And we'll get into that uh, with the pros and cons. And what I really noticed uh, immediately today, uh, I strung my Pure Aero Rafa up with Grapple Snake Tour M8 or Tour Mate, uh, a string I really like. It's 130 gauge, a uh, very nice string that I'm reviewing at the moment. And I immediately noticed like improved comfort. You definitely have a lot of pocketing. You know, there's not a lot of uh, stiffness coming from the string bed with that kind of low tension. I got some extra power and depth. So some shots required minimum swing to really get good depth and power. And uh, my opponent, Bas, actually noticed that, that some shots he thought it would be like a normal shot. They came at him much faster and he was surprised and what found it harder to read. Uh, kind of the shot that was was incoming. So I think that was a, a benefit as well. Uh, there's nice pocketing in the string bed. You have that kind of trampoline effect. It feels pretty nice, but as we get into on the con side, it's not all uh, roses there. And you get some added spin. I feel like the, it really grabs the ball uh, when you have that low tension. It really sinks into the string bed and shoots out with some, some higher launch and added spin. Whether you like that or not is another story, but that's really what I noticed. Uh, so uh, with Manorino, he's really kind of customized his racket setup to his style 100%. I think uh, from talking to him, he, he wasn't really open to testing other rackets. He's really like, this is my setup. And he didn't want to play with other types of setups. I mean, he has a very specific one, also with extra weight to the racket and then that really low tension. So uh, this is what he's used to. It's custom for him. And that's the kind of mentality we should have around our own, own game as well, unless you're a play tester like I am. You should definitely try to optimize your racket setup to your game style and level. Uh, if we can do that, we're going to you know, elevate our tennis and improve our game quite a bit. Just with the gear, obviously, we should always work on our footwork, our physique and our technique and points play and all these things. These are the basics. But you can also improve by making sure you play with the optimal gear for your game. That's really one of the reasons I, I like this stuff and I get into it. I think it's fascinating to see how much of a difference you can make with a racket and a string setup and a tension and so on. The issues playing with the low tension were quite obvious for me as well. And I'm usually playing with a bit longer swing, a bit more traditional style, a bit flatter. And I was really afraid that this would be completely uh, wrong for me, this whole setup. And it wasn't that bad. I actually quite enjoyed the, the tennis with this setup. Uh, it made the racket, which is quite stiff, a lot softer. So that, that was good. And, uh, but I did notice lack of control at times. As soon as I mistimed the ball, and we can see that from an arena style, it's all based on his timing, whether he hits it flat or with some spin. Uh, it's all compact swing and with good timing. So it's all about timing with this kind of tension. You need to time the ball really well. Uh, you're not going to get any control otherwise. So on shots where I was late, the ball would catapult into the air and I'll, I'll make a big uh, unforced error. So um, that was pretty obvious. You're not going to get the same precision and you need to add a little bit of spin on your shots. If you're all super flat, you're not, not going to get that control that you want. So a little bit better if you have a shorter swing where you add some spin naturally to your game. I think then, you know, looking at Manorino, that's the kind of game style you should have with this uh, type of string tension and setup. Uh, so the, the launch angle also is not everyone's cup of tea. It's obviously going to get a bit higher when you have that kind of trampoline effect in the string bed. You're really feeling the ball sink in and shoot out. 
and uh, that's definitely not for everyone. Some people prefer playing with a board, uh, some, you know, that kind of super stiff string bed. Uh, but I do kind of like this. It, it actually worked as soon as I adjusted my game and, and shortened my swings and, and tried to really make sure I grooved with this tension and this, this, this string setup. Uh, when I moved in between other rackets with normal string tensions for me, which is 22, 23 kilos or 51 to 49 pounds, I immediately noticed that was very hard for me to adjust, that this was quite extreme, and then moving in between rackets, which I usually do for testing, to compare and so on, was, was completely impossible, pretty much. I drastically lost my feeling comparing kind of this 12 kilo to my normal tension. So uh, you definitely need to make sure this is, um, this is something you want to commit to, and then you, if you, you can adapt, adapt your game to this tension. Uh, I think it can be a great idea. I think it's a great idea for, for veteran players with shorter swings, uh, if they can just learn how to adjust a little bit of topspin to their game, I think a, a lower tension poly like this, like a 15 kilo or, or even this low, uh, could be a great idea for them to, to actually have some good comfort but still get interesting control and some spin from the poly. So that could be even better than, than playing with a multifilament at 24 kilos or, or 53 pounds. Uh, so it's definitely something to consider even if you have uh, some arm issues or sometimes hit the ball late and maybe give it a go to try some you know insanely low poly tension because there are softer polys than this, this grapple snake string you can can experiment with as well so uh, i found this playtest really interesting and the pros and cons were pretty clear and uh, i did uh, enjoy it so i'm definitely gonna try it in other rackets as well i might not go all the way down to 12 i might try maybe 15 kilos and see where we go there you know 30 pounds something like that could be interesting and uh, i will see where the results are if you have any other ideas for experiments you want me to try let me know in the comments below i'm always open to testing new things and seeing what happens uh, to a racket and a string and so on uh, when you're when you're trying something new uh, and that, how that affects my game of course um, so the pros of the lower tension is improved comfort extra power and depth that was pretty evident Nice pocketing in the string bed if you like that feeling, that kind of trampoline feeling, and some added spin and launch over the net. Those were the benefits, the, the downsides, lack of control, that's pretty clear. As soon as you miss time, the ball has a tendency to shoot out a bit more, and the high launch angle can also kind of reduce your control. So the whole control issue uh, is, is there, you know, that's something where you have to really get used to it and, and adapt your game a little bit. But if you can do that, I think it's great. Uh, I definitely recommend most players to try to drop their tensions. Uh, they, they will improve their comfort and uh, they will get some free depth uh, if they just adjust their game a little bit to this uh, setup. Well, that's all for this one uh, playing with low tensions i hope you found it useful and gained something from it please support me on patreon patreon.com slash tennis nerd and we get extra content every week uh, and please also consider buying something in the description below with through my affiliates tennis warehouse tennis warehouse europe and so on and also like swing vision top court and other affiliates that's about that have a nice day and don't forget to play some tennis and p.s please also subscribe to the channel that helps a lot thanks